Welcome to Spelled Milk, and this is Eating for Mars. He brought two nukes up here, and one is a 50-50 hive. It has 50% 50, 50 of, the, of the frame is drones, and the other 50% is normal bees. I did that before, and it takes a little longer to get really completely started, as good as a normal nuke that you would start, but it works. And I always try to use instead of throw away, you know. So I hope it works this time again. like this hive worked. At least the four groups are still separated and all four groups are still bees and the fly holes, the openings, they go in and out and they even bring pollen in. And when they bring pollen that's a good sign. So it looks like this one worked in contrary to these stupid green rarity boxes that I just kept never to you to work for me. A special new box it has two levels so you in the end fit in 10 frames like in a normal normal super um, it was built for extra space on top for food and kind of a storage area something like that but then I just put in a, a second row of slats and put you know the screw is a little bit loose so that I can, you can use it like a hinge and then I can put in two frames that's a really cool idea mm -hmm. And it works quite okay. Okay, I make this many nukes this year. I start so many new groups because you can also say you just let them swarm let them multiply naturally but then you have to go and catch swarms and I'm not so keen on catching swarms <clears throat> we have two ponds on two bee spots one is here and the other one there and they always kind of like to get in a willow hanging over the water or something like that and the last two years I was standing in mud to my hips getting dirty and wet had bees raining on my head because I was shaking standing in the water on a tree with a letter and uh, I just don't want to have it anymore. That doesn't sound like any fun. Sounds like you need chest waders for it. Kind of, yeah. And it's getting warm because the sun, you know, you're freezing from down here because the water is freezing cold and you're sweating from up above and then the sweat is running in your eyes and the bees are falling on your head and you know this one is just a cheap one and it's falling in your face and then the bees can sting in your face and all of that nice stuff so I don't want to have it anymore. Many people say that swarm queens, you know, queens that came out of a swarm cell are better than if you start a new. They produce an, a, a, a queen out of the eggs that you put in there. Maybe. I don't have the experience yet that it is that way. And um, I don't know. I think the queens this way are okay too. So now it's 6.30 in the afternoon. Saturday afternoon and it started to rain. We just got finished before it started to drop. And we are ready and done for the week, right? I think so with the bees. I think we're done for the week. And the kids got the lollipop like always. Every time we are here, they get a lollipop. You hear the meow. <laughs> meow. Okay. So we're off home now. Not so sweaty this time. But still tight. I think everybody. The boys are tired first. Okay, okay. So then, see you next time. Bye.
on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon under Spilled Milk Fam. Links in the video description. Whatever happens, praise the Lord. And don't cry over spilled milk.